if you have been browsing Instagram lately, you might have seen posts saying something like, comment the word X below and I will send you a link to my free masterclass, new freebie, to join the waitlist or other similar promotions. And you might be wondering how they manage to automatically send a message to your DMs when you comment a specific word. And they're using a tool called ManyChat. In this video, I'm gonna guide you through the steps to set up and use ManyChat. And with it, whenever someone comments on your Instagram post, they will instantly get a DM thanks to one-time automated setup. So as a business owner, automations like these are crucial. They save you time, they help you increase engagement, and ensure that your followers get immediate responses, enhancing their experience and potentially boosting your conversion. So let's jump over to my computer and get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to manychat.com. I have left my referral link in the description box below to help you get started with this automation tool. So I do appreciate if you use my referral link and thank you in advance. When you come to this landing page, if you go to the product section up here, it's gonna let you know what platforms ManyChat supports. So as you already know, it supports Instagram and it's gonna help you automate your Instagram marketing. It also works with WhatsApp to connect with your customers instantly. It works with Messenger to create like a chat box on Facebook. Also works with texting your customers and you could connect it to your favorite tools. So there's so many ways that you could use ManyChat and you could essentially start with one and then add these additional platforms as your business grow or as you get more comfortable with ManyChat. Now let's talk about pricing because that's a big one, right? So when you click on pricing, um, one of the key things about ManyChat is that you could start a free account, which is really nice if you have a thousand contacts or less, right? But it does have some limitations, so keep that in mind. Um, I would definitely come down here and look at the different limitations between each plan. So these are the key features that you get with the free one. These are the key features that you get with the pro account, and these are the key features you get with the premium. I personally have the pro because I want to take advantage of all of the features but you could definitely start with the free one and then upgrade later if you want. Once you decide which plan you want, go ahead and click on either get started or become a pro. From there, it's gonna open this new window and it's gonna ask you what channel would you like to start with? Because we're doing Instagram and this is an Instagram tutorial, I'm gonna click here, but based on your needs for your business, click on the one that you wanna start with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. From here, it's gonna prompt me to go ahead and connect with Facebook. Make sure that your Instagram account is already connected with your Facebook page. If it's not, it won't work. So just make sure that you do that from the back end if you have not done so yet. And then once you have that done, click on continue with Facebook, follow the prompts in order to get your account set up. All right, so once you are signed up, you're just gonna log in to your ManyChat. And this is how it's gonna look. This is your home dashboard. And the first thing that you're gonna see is your insights. It's gonna give you in your insights for the last seven days. Now, because you're starting, this might be all in zeros. However, eventually you'll start seeing some traction. But as you can see, I have gotten the last seven days, 499 comments, story replies, seven, DM conversations, 116, and then story mentions, nine. So the DMs keep me pretty busy, to be quite honest, but I get a lot of my sales from it. So it's really, really worth it because when you start building relationships with people, answering their questions and being super helpful, people like that. Whether they buy from you or not, they will stick around, they will still engage with your content and community is everything. So. I absolutely am thankful for these conversations. Now, what I want to do now is before I kind of walk you through the automation, I want to show you an example of how I've been using ManyChat in my own business and kind of show you an example of one of my posts. 
So here is an Instagram reel where I'm promoting my free XC SEO guide. And in the middle of the caption, you can see right here that I say common SEO to grab it now for free. So whenever somebody's reading this, if they're interested in this freebie, in this guide, all they have to do is come down here and leave a comment. All they have to say is the word SEO. Now, what happens after that is that automatically, anytime that somebody leaves a comment, there's a reply sent to them in the actual comment. And they also get a DM with more information on how to download X, Y, and Z, which in this case is the free guide. So here you could see all the people who commented SEO and underneath you will see the replies that I have set up in Manichat, which are automatically added every time someone comments. So for instance, here's one, and this is the automatic reply. Take a moment to check your DMs. If there's anything you are unsure about, just ask. Here's another one here. Now here's the reply. Send the link. Please check your DMs. If you have any questions, please let me know. As you can see, those two say the same thing, but they're slightly different. Keep in mind that you are able to customize the automatic reply to fit your brand's voice. You're also able to add different variations of responses, which I highly recommend. And here's another pro tip. I always tell people where to find the information. I always tell them, please check your DMs. Don't assume that everyone that uses Instagram understands that the information is sent to their DMs. I learned that the hard way when I first started using ManyChat. So having something in there, redirecting them and letting them know, hey, I just send you a DM, please go there, is the best way to increase your click-through rate and also increase your conversions. Now that you have seen the automation in action on Instagram, Let's set up your first Manichat automation. So the first thing you have to do is you go to your navigation bar to your left and click on automation. As you can see, I already have some automations created for my own business. Some are for my free email course, my free guide, promoting my YouTube video, promoting my simple income roadmap course. So I have automations for all sorts of things, and you should be doing the same for your own business. Now, when you're ready for these automations, you're gonna click right here where it says new automation. Now, automatically, it's gonna give you these pre-made templates that you could use. So you have the option to start from scratch, or you have the option to use any of these templates. So they have convert your Instagram comments into sales, use Instagram stories to generate more leads, show off your site to new visitors. There's a lot of different templates. Build an email list on Instagram DM, capture customer data with lead magnet. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that you could do with ManyChat. I'm just gonna show you the basics today, but definitely play around with these additional features and see how you could incorporate them for your own small business. So let's go ahead and click on start from scratch. Now from here, the first thing you're gonna do is choose a trigger. So you're gonna go right here and you're gonna click on new trigger. And now you're gonna select an action. So in this situation, it says use user clicks on Instagram ad, user comments on your post or reel, user replies to your story, user clicks a referral link, user sends a message. Now, what I showed you a few minutes ago as an example of my own Instagram reels is this one here, user comments on your post or reel. So when people comment on my posts, right, X, Y, and Z, I send them, X, Y, and Z, right? So that's the one they wanna click. Now from here, you're just gonna follow the prompts. It's gonna ask you, choose the specific post or reel for this automation. Now for free plans, you will need to post first, then set up the automation afterwards. So keep that in mind. But let's say that I'm doing an automation for this one here. I'm gonna click on that one. And then what you're gonna do is go ahead and click continue. 
Now it's going to help you or it's going to tell you to set up your keywords. So you want to specify the keywords that triggers the automation, such as common SEO, right? And you want to include variations of the keyword to ensure it works correctly. If you do have like a long keyword, let's say you have free masterclass, you want to put free space masterclass. You want to do free masterclass altogether because there are people that are going to type it different. So for instance, you, if you did use the word free masterclass, you would do it like this free masterclass. And then you would do free and then you would do masterclass because you'll have people that will write it together. People that will write it separate. So it's just better to cover all of them just in case that way they could get the information. Now in my situation, because I'm just having them comment SEO. It's a lot easier. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to put in SEO and that's it. That's all I'm going to put. Then I'm going to go ahead and continue. All right. So the next step is to set up your public reply in the feed. And this is what you saw earlier when I showed you my example of me responding to customers. I set this up one time and it does it automatically for me every single time. Now, what's nice about this is that not only does it tell the customer where to go to find the actual freebie or whatever you're promoting, but it also helps you with engagement. Because if you have five people that left the comment and you reply to those five people, now that counts as 10 comments in total. So it's a win-win for you. Not only does it you know, improve your customer experience because they get a response right away. They know where to go. You're re redirecting them. So they're more likely to go to the DMS and download and sign up for whatever promotion or offer you're giving them, but it also helps you with engagement. So make sure to take the time to do it. So here is where you would say, send the link over, please check your DM. I would do, um, three, four different variations of it. That way it looks a little bit different. Make sure to add your brand voice to it as well. And, you know, just create different ones here. And all, that's all you would need to do. Once you do this, obviously take your time with it. I'm just doing it rough, um, roughly here for this tutorial a little bit quicker, but take your time with the messages. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and click save. So we already did the main part, which is picking the post or reel, choosing the triggering word, and then choosing your public replies. Now the next step is to set up your DM. So what you're going to do to create the direct message, you're going to click right here where it says send message. And what you're going to do here is you're going to add your message. So you could say something like, hi, hi there. Thank you for commenting about the free SEO guide. Oops. Or right, let's do um, SEO PDF. Please click the link below to grab now. Happy selling. You could sign it with your name. And then what you could do here is click on add button and you're going to go ahead and you're going to add your website, open website. So here is where you would put the page that they will have to go to in order to download the freebie, right? So I'm just going to put my blog for now. This is where you would put it. And then here you would do the title of it. And you could say download here, grab here. So I sometimes I'll say something like download now. Keep in mind that you do have a special limit of how many words you could put here. So just make it sweet and short. Once you have the actual button title, or you could say something like download here. Go ahead and click done. Now, once this is done and your message is done, the next step is to activate and test. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and set for live. 
So now the automation is live. Now, if you want to test it out, which I absolutely recommend that you do to make sure that everything is working fine, what you could do is click right here on preview and you'll see that it's set up and you could actually click on the link and it should open to that page that you added. So that's one way to make sure that the actual DM is working. The second thing that I would do is I would log in from maybe like a different account, maybe like a different Instagram account, go to that post and comment SEO and see if you get the DM and the auto response. But usually if you follow these directions, it's going to work for you. If it doesn't work for you, you'll know because either one, people will tell you, hey, I never received anything or two, you won't see that auto reply. Once you're done with the automation, I highly recommend that you give your automation a name so you could keep track of it and you can know what this automation is at first glance. So go back to automation, go ahead. And this is the one that we were working on. Go ahead and click on, on title, click on the little pencil and name your automation. So I'm going to put here free SEO PDF, right? Because that's what I'm giving. After that, I'm going to click enter and now it's set up that way. When I look at this, I know this is the PDF. Another thing to keep in mind, if you ever need to turn off your automation for whatever reason, you could just go in here and toggle this off. I specifically recommend keeping these here because once you start collecting data, it will tell you how many runs, you know, how many people actually signed up for it. How, what is your click through rate? This is really good information that you could have for later to see which campaigns work better than others. So you definitely want to keep it. But this is how you know that one is on. This is how you'll be able to look at your metrics of that specific automation. It's that simple to set up Manage Chat. Let me know in the comments below if you are planning to try it out. And also make sure to watch these additional videos on the screen to help you grow an impactful online business. See you in the next video.